and I am happy to say that both bags now don't stink. Hi there, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. If this is the type of thing you might be interested in, please do like and subscribe for more content. Thank you. So today's video is actually a requested video by a subscriber. Hi! about removing odor from bags. Now I did in a previous video talk about my vintage Chanel single flap. Here it is, ta-da, beautiful, which I bought from Rebag and I was very happy with the bag and the condition of it. However, it did have an odor that was not disclosed. Um, it has a very, it had a very musty odor that was pretty, pretty unfortunate actually, and I almost considered sending the bag back. Now, I also had previously purchased an older coach bag, this tote. I bought this off Mercari, and the seller was completely dishonest and did not disclose the odor, but most, more than that, they were exploiting and Mercari rule that said that they didn't take returns based on odor alone. So that was a fun and very pleasant experience, but I digress. It smelled like cigarettes and perfume and was incredibly foul wholly unpleasant. I couldn't even have the bag in my apartment. I had to put it back in the box and put it as far away from my living area as possible. Like it was in my foyer by my front door. That's how bad it was. I touched it and then I had to wash my hands with soap and water. Not great. So I had um, these two bags uh, at obviously different times and different methods was used to get rid of the odor. And I'm happy to say that both bags now don't stink. Like, I'm comfortable touching both, I'm comfortable using both, and my methods actually work. So this is a video about those methods. First of all, this bag, this coach bag, it is um, patent leather and um, like a raffia weave, all of which are real good for absorbing odor. So I was kind of fighting a battle of how much odor this thing had absorbed uh, in terms of the cigarette smell and perfumey smell. And the first step for this bag, honestly, was to just leave it outside and let it air out as much as possible. I don't have a place that I can leave stuff to air out. I've Before, I've actually left stuff in my car um, to air out, like with the windows cracked or something, or just left it, left it in my car to like be ex exposed to the air. And sometimes the cold helps neutralize odors too. I'm gonna talk about that later. But I, um, for this particular bag, I left it in my parents garage and just hung it up and let it sit there for like a month basically it took that long for it to air out enough for me to do the next part of what i wanted to try so i let this air out outside and that's really one of the best things you can do to try to remove odor from items is to let them ex be exposed to fresh air not like in the elements but if you have a garage that you can leave it in so it's it kind of has that circulation that's super helpful um, one of the things I did with my, uh, Chanel bag, because I did not want to leave this outside anywhere in a car or a garage, I had it in my apartment and I placed it in front of a fan that was constantly circulating air. And that did help dissipate the odor some, but not completely. So what I did next with this is, um, baking soda. Baking soda is your friend in removing smells like I'm not even kidding people talk about this method all the time and it really does work so the reason that I have this baking soda in this plastic bag is so it doesn't accidentally spill and get all over the inside of my bag obviously so for this bag it actually fit really well inside so I just opened up the bag and took out the foam and I just kind of like Plopped the baking soda in the bag inside like this, and then I closed the bag. Just close the bag like this. Now this is step one. So the baking soda is now inside, but it's not gonna do anything if it's still in the open air. It needs to absorb the odor specifically in the bag. So what you do then is you put it inside of a sealed container. Now I didn't have any sealed containers that were the right size for this item. So I just kind of MacGyvered something and used a giant plastic bag. So what I did was I put the bag inside and, and I just closed it like that. I pushed out as much air as I possibly could. 
and um, put, push out as much air as I possibly could, close the bag like this, and then set it very gently on the floor um, in like an out of the way area, like in my closet. So the bag couldn't be kicked or touched or bumps in any way and um, let it set for two days like that. And when I, after, after two days, so I took, I opened this up, I took the baking soda out and I smelled the bag and it was much better, but still slightly musty. So what I did was I exchanged the baking soda for a fresh box, put it back inside, put it back in the bag and left it for another two days. And by that point, it really, really helped remove the odor. And after I had used the baking soda method to dissipate most of the musty odor, I left it outside of my apartment in front of the fan again to circulate the air more, which pretty much got rid of the rest of the musty odor. From there, there was still a bit of a lingering trace. And honestly, the best thing to do is to use it. Now, this depends on what the bag is. Um, this is not an everyday item for me but it is something that I like to take out and handle and just handling it, putting my fingers and my oils from my hands on the bag, using it helped kind of dissipate the smell, the last of the smell because I was using it, having it be in open air and I was touching it and I was kind of just like lifting the, sp kind of lifting the smell off with my fingers, if that makes sense. It does scientifically, maybe not verbally, but that's what I did with this and that helped a lot. Um, it was just a musty odor. It wasn't a cigarette or a perfume smell that sticks m more to fabrics and materials. So baking soda method plus fresh air fan plus touching it really, really eliminated the odor for me. So going back to this great thing, this being outside helped it a lot, but it did not get rid of the odor completely. I had to do a step two method and I um, didn't try the baking soda method with this. Now, some people actually recommended aquarium charcoal, which also is really good for absorption. Uh, I didn't because I didn't buy aquarium charcoal and this is actually too big to put inside of like a plastic bag and clothes. Um, and I still didn't have like a sealed container that was big enough for this either. So I didn't try that method. Uh, so what I did instead Okay, so it was, it's big enough to fit inside this plastic bag, I'll show you, but it's not big enough to like sit properly anywhere. So I can put it in, pull the handles down, and it like just closes, it just closes, but it's kind of tricky and it doesn't sit flat. So I was kind of weary about putting something inside of it in case it tipped over. So I did the freezer method instead with this piece. So I, again, I put it inside this bag and I squeeze all the air out and I can squeeze this much more uh, uh, freely than I can squeeze my Chanel piece. So I don't mind squeezing it that way to get the air out. Um, this was a much, it's a much less expensive item. Uh, so I was, a little bit uh, less hesitant to have rougher handlings with it, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing the freezer method where I did not risk it with my Chanel piece. Have this in a bag, put it in the freezer, close freezer, let it sit for 24 hours. Yeah, I'm serious. So the cold does something to help eliminate the odors too. This is actually a method that some people use for their jeans. Um, Instead of washing their jeans, they put their jeans in their freezer to remove the odor, uh, especially for like really, really raw denim. That's a method that I've heard of. So it works for bags too, really. Um, the reason I put this in a plastic bag is because in the event that moisture would get on this and then freeze, it could damage the bag. So I wanted to try to make sure that I was avoiding getting moisture on my item inside of the freezer so it didn't get damaged. And that's something that you do have to be careful about. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to risk the Chanel piece, if moisture got on the Chanel piece and then froze inside my freezer, it would not be good for it at all. And really wanted to avoid that. If I had a Ziploc baggie that was big enough, I might've attempted it, but especially since I didn't need to, I wasn't gonna. I might use the freezer method in the future for other smelly items that I get, but I hope to not have to because I would 
prefer to avoid getting smelly items in the first place. But in the event that you do get an item that has a smell um, or you have an item that you purchased pre-loved and the odor was not disclosed and you can't or don't want to return it, those are a couple of methods that you can use. You can use the um, outside fresh air method. You can use the baking soda method. You can use the freezer method or you can use a combination of all three. I've had great success with using all three methods and in most cases I've had to use at least two of them together. I haven't had success using just the one, like with the, the coach bag. I had to put it outside and then put it in the freezer. With the Chanel bag, I had to use the baking soda method and I had to change the baking soda twice and then I had to, you know, air it out a little bit more. But those are some of the ways that I've had success in removing odor from my pieces. And again, this is raffia and patent and fabric. So we know that it can be removed from those things. This is, uh, this is uh, vintage lambskin leather. So that's another piece that you can remove odor from. And uh, Mel Sodera, who's another YouTuber who specializes in like luxury items, I'll link her below. She's, she's fantastic, she's real fun. Uh, she also talks about using the freezer method to remove uh, odors from items. And she's actually the one that I learned about handbags as a possibility for pre-loved items. So uh, I will try to find the video where she does that specifically. If I can't, I'll just link to her channel. She's great. I would suggest following her and she's a lot of fun. So yeah, the, I hope that was helpful. If you try any of these methods, please let me know whether or not they work for you. Uh, I would really be interested to know or be happy to hear that it did help somebody. Uh, so yeah, leave me a comment down below, like this video if you liked it, and if you haven't yet, please do subscribe for more content. I talk about luxury designer contemporary pieces for the most part, and do unboxings, a little bit of behind the scenes sometimes, sometimes I talk about the more ridiculous sides of luxury, but uh, it's all good fun. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!